guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House here. It is Thanksgiving and uh, I'm off again, uh, off of work, so I'm back at the tiny house and want to uh, check on some things. So the USB um, USB uh, lights here, they seem to be um, dry. I left them on this sheet for 24 hours to uh, tack up. And I think they it worked out well with the, with the Gorilla Glue epoxy resin. And I put it across these three little black terminals here because apparently from High Tech Guy Stu, who's an electronics expert, he can, um, he recommended it because it would stop this thing from ever shorting and give it some waterproofing as well. So that's all done. Hopefully, yep, this epoxy has cured as well, this big goop pile here. I used way too much, obviously, so my bad. I should try these lights out, though, while we're here. Um, I'll use Primo's power pack and Charles's power pack as a demo. So here's Primos, here's Charles. Um, and we'll plug these suckers in and see if uh, I screwed up. Whoa, what the hell? Is it me or is that crooked on an angle? That's weird. Okay, well, we'll try this anyway. Yeah, they're like both facing downwards. <laughs> Weird. We'll try these two. We'll try Charles's as well. Make sure everything works. So we'll do Primo's first, I guess. Both lights are on. There's Charles's. Both lights are on. And uh, very cool. So, maybe the little bit of heat that'll ge be generated will warm the resin and um, um, help to finish in the curing process. I have no idea. I don't know how long. Uh, maybe 24 hours is plenty for that. Well, I'll run these for a little bit, guys. Anyway, I'll give you an update on the weather in the tiny house and around the tiny house. So, outside, 76% humidity. Inside, 68% and rising because I have the door open. 67.2 um, Fahrenheit outside. And it's a little bit warmer inside the tiny house at 68.1 Fahrenheit. Now, it does say it's uncomfortably humid in here, and I agree. But that's due to the fact that I have newly purchased lumber that I was working on and I've been putting up so there's some lumber there there's some there and then the plywood so obviously it's going to contain moisture and it's going to take a while to dry it out that's what I found for quite a while now so we'll check the solar out looks like everything's in float as usual nothing really to see here guys until I get everything wired up and um, I'm going to be planning on doing that. I need to bring some 10 gauge over, 10 gauge wire and stuff like that. And uh, today though, I brought the saw with me. It's outside the tiny house and I'm going to remove this 2x4, cut it on the line I made, that way it moves in flush to the wall and then screw that in. And then um, this piece will be actually gone. And then I will continue on because right now I have this large gap here and I really don't need that. So I need to cut this so I'm flush to the wall, screw that in, and then I can continue on. Now, one thing I thought about because this is, there's a little bit, because of the door framing I installed for the door, 
obviously the wall is sticking out a little bit so there's going to be modifications to be done to the plywood and stuff but if i'm lucky i'll get another four feet sheet here and then it'll end and then another four foot sheet and i should hopefully if i measure from this corner back which i will try to do on camera here um i'll just grab my tape measure quickly so if i take the tape and go in That's a four foot sheet to there. Okay, right to just before this seam. And if I continue going, I gotta, once I get to the eight feet mark, I'll know for sure. So eight feet brings me about here. So, I may run into issues, guys. Um, so that's the way it goes. Um, yeah. I wonder if I could switch this to Celsius. Yes, I can. Okay. So for my UK viewers, I switched to the um, the other temperature probe to 19 Celsius. Um, that's 19 Celsius in here, I should say. This guy is my old solar. I'm gonna remove him from this window and put him maybe in the storage area where they do get, where it gets some light. So I'll move him over there. So anyway, so yeah, so eight foot, the eight foot mark was about here, guys. And as you can see, that's only about here. So when I put my four footer up there and it ends and another four footer, I'll have an area here where I'll be short kind of. So I'll have to notch out the plywood and do some specialty crap. To make everything look good but that's the way it is now back to my LED lights they should be quite warm now yes they are so both yeah both are warm so I'm gonna shut these off off maybe okay I guess I'll just pull them <laughs> and then yeah they're still good so they are sealed And ready to go. So any got um, any of my subscribers that I actually sent these to, you can take some Gorilla Glue, like High Tech Guy uh, 18 Stew recommends, and you can go ahead and uh, do what I did in that video to seal these up. Leave them for 24 hours, and they turned out quite well. I thought, you know. Um, a tad messy, but as my first go around, I think that's pretty decent. You know? And so these are actually going to put these up on the shelf now. Now that they're uh, cured. And then Pierre's going to get one of these um, once he shows up eventually. I'll see him eventually. But uh, yeah. So that worked out quite well, this little work area here. Sloppy, but it works. 
Okay. So, yeah, so on to the uh, videos, guys. I'm going to start pulling this lumber down, take it outside, cut it. What I'll do is I probably won't film me pulling this down and, and cutting it. I'll just put the uh, film me putting it back in and then continuing on with um, um, once I get done to down and flush into this side of the wall I'll put another piece along this side and continue on and what that will do which is really good will help hold this um, plywood in tight to the wall where I want it so dual purpose again multi-purpose awesomeness will help me and I'll put a full length an eight footer and I maybe that's probably about eight feet probably get to the wall and then I think I have over purchased two by fours I purchased too many um, yeah I got three left so I can always use extra lumber for different projects now this one, I'm still unhappy with this one. Um, it is flush on the bottom. However, I do not like that gap there. It's kind of annoying, but I can't really do much. Um, really sucks, but it, it will work. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna get to it. We'll see you guys in a bit when I get filming again. So, uh, yeah, talk to you later.